In this video, I will show you how to optimize and troubleshoot Unify access points wireless connections. And that includes the Unify Dream Machine. If your phone or laptop is displaying full Wi-Fi signal, but pages won't load, or you want to get the max of your Ubiquiti equipment, this video is for you. What's up, Kirill Pejanskis here. I will describe a series of optimizing tips and troubleshooting steps for your Unify network. So you won't see ever again continuously loading pages with no results and issues like exclamation point over the Wi-Fi icon, as well as strange auto-assigned IPs for your local devices. I will start with some common things that you can check and do, and then gradually I will show you the optimizing tips for your Unify network. So make sure that you watch the whole thing now, let's smash this like button and start this video. First thing first, you have to upgrade your firmware if you haven't done that already. Just log into your Unify controller and go to your devices section. Here are my devices. Hover over each one of them and you will see if there is any upgrade. As you can see here, I can upgrade this 8 port switch. Confirm and the update is starting. The other devices are fine. Next thing is trivial but very important. You have to determine if there is any packet loss and if it's from wireless or wired infrastructure. Next, open two terminals or two common prompts if you are using Windows and ping the public DNS of Google continuously, as well as your router. If there are packet loss to both windows, then you probably have a wireless issue. If there is a packet loss only to the Google public DNS here, then probably your issue is wired or you have internet issue with your provider. I have no packet loss, but as you can see, the latency is not great, but I'm not at home at the moment. I'm currently connected to my home using a VPN. If you want to have such VPN as well, check these videos. I'm explaining there how to do that step by step. We will focus more on the wireless optimization and troubleshooting. But here is few tips if you have wired issues. First, check your cables and replace them if needed. Also, double check if your smart queues are enabled. And upgrade and downrate are configured correctly according to your ISP contract rates. If your wired problems still exist, call your ISP provider and ask for help in the Unify community. Now let's continue with the wireless optimization. The next thing that you can try, especially if you have more than one access points, is to set a custom transmit power or TX power. Here is how. Setting a custom TX power or transmit power can be easily done from the Unify controller. Just go to devices and select your device here capable for wireless connectivity. I'll choose first the Dream Machine and I'll go to config, radios, and here I have two sections, 2G and 5G radio. I'll set the transmit power to custom. Have in mind that most mobile devices have TX power between 14 and 18 dBm. So you can experiment with this setting for best results. Good starting point is 18 dBm. And I'll put 18 dBm here. And I'll do the same for the 5G. Few changes, apply all. I will do the same for my AC Pro, exactly the same way, but offline, not to waste your time. Another trivial but must do and check thing is the access proximity. Just try moving closer to the Unify access point or the Unify Dream Machine and verify if the things get a lot better. If that is the case, 
evaluate again the locations and count of the access point in your home. Now let's change the DTIM. A default DTIM period of 1 is used for compatibility and legacy reasons. However, many recent iOS and Android devices will perform much better and save up to 66% of their Wi-Fi battery consumption if the DTIM period is set to 3. This is where you can change this. To change the DTIM or delivery traffic indication message, go to Settings, Wireless Networks. I have several Wi-Fi networks here because I'm using VLANs for my connected devices. The network where my most recent devices are connected is this one, A. I'll click Edit. Then I'll go to Advanced Options, Rate and Beacon Controls, and I'll uncheck this Use Default Value. For networks where nearly all connected devices are modern, it is recommended to use the DTIM period of 3. And I'll simply set this from 1 to 3 not 33, and I'll click Save, and I'm ready. How is your Wi-Fi? I mean, is your speed and coverage okay or not? Share me your experience in the comments below, I will love to read it. It can be helpful to the others as well. Remember, do this if you don't have legacy devices and most of your devices are modern, otherwise you have to use VLANs just like me and to separate your devices in different networks. Another good check for your Wi-Fi help is the uptime of the access points. Here is where you can check it. To check the uptime of your devices, simply go to Devices menu. And here it is. Here is your uptimes. It seems that my AC Pro access point is more stable than the Unified Dream Machine. If you see here constant restarts of your devices without any good reason, then probably you have some issue. So that is a very good indicator here. It is also a good idea to disable the Auto Optimize Network feature. From the dashboard go to Settings and then scroll down until you see this one and disable it if it's enabled. Do the next thing only if you have wireless issues. Try to enable the Airtime Fairness feature. That way you bring the base functionality to the bare minimum. Here is how. To see the Airtime Fairness menu, you first have to enable Advanced Features. Just go to Settings, Site, and enable this if it's disabled. This will show the Advanced menus in your unified controller, then go to devices and I'll edit the unified AC Pro access point for example. I'll go to config and down here you can see the airtime fairness menu. Click on it, set it to on and queue changes and then apply it. But remember, do this if you really have issues with your wireless connectivity and you want to troubleshoot. If everything until now fails, feel free to paste your symptoms and configuration in the Unify community. Any sort of engagement on this channel does really help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So you make sure that you hit the subscribe, like and bell buttons if you enjoyed this video. Also, feel free to add me on Twitter by searching for this username. I'm trying to post there frequently. You can also find me on my Discord server as well. If you want to become one of my supporters, you can see exactly how in the video description below. I really hope that you find this information useful and you now know how to optimize and troubleshoot the Unify access points, wireless connections, including the Unify Dream Machine, which have integrated access point. Stay safe and don't forget, home smart but not hard. Thank you for watching, see you next time.